Look at the second part, page 94 of the Affinity Photo Workbook. Cropping an image to a constrained aspect ratio. Now, cropping to a particular aspect ratio is useful for both printing and digital delivery. For print, you can crop to popular size ratios such as 5 by 7, 4 by 6 and 8 by 10. So if anybody's ever taken a photograph, they know what those sizes are. Ensuring maximum print coverage, especially if you're using borderless printing, i.e. in photographs. For digital, digital delivery, that's a tongue twister, you can match monitor aspect ratios like 16 by 9, 16 by 10 and 4 by 3, allowing images to fill the entire screen. So let's see how you do this. So let's open a file. And this one's from the cloud, which I've had before. And we're looking for cropping ratio. It's that one there with the, looks like Chinese writing on it. And it is Chinese writing. I'll have to translate that one day. I'd love to know what it means. Let's reduce that so we can see the whole thing on, on my little magic screen. On the tools menu, select the crop tool. Now the crop tool is that one over there. You can see the little, whoops, square. So we select the crop tool and that gives us that. Now in the context toolbar, which is down the bottom, select the mode to custom ratio. There we go, slide the bar up. We've got custom ratio. In the two inputs next to mode, enter 16 and 9. Custom ratio. 16. By 9. And there we go. You see, that's come off the screen a little bit there. So let's just move that on the screen. Go back to the cropping tool. So that's a 16 by 9 ratio. In the context toolbar, check darken border to darken the areas of the image not included in the crop. We've got a right hand thing there. That's switched off because, and it's darken is on by default. It looks like darken the border, and you can see that there's nothing outside of that image. So it's, the, it's darkened by default. Custom ratio, gone back there. Sixteen. Oh, come on. Uh, custom ratio. We don't want unconstrained. Well, custom ratio. Why aren't the numbers happening here? 16. By 9. There we go. Custom ratio, 16 by 9. Darken the outside areas. Sixteen by nine. The outside areas are darkened slightly. So it's darkened slightly, it's not darkened a lot. Maybe it darkens it more on the desktop, but on this one it's just darkened.
Reveal. Nope. That one's off. Okay. That one's off. Darken is on. So that's what you get. Custom ratio, 16 by 9 and darkened. Now to position the crop area, once the grid, click once on the grid and drag until you're happy with the composition. You can see that's 16 by 9. That's just the bit we want there. And the bit that's not cropped is the bit that's in the darkened area sort of outside that. Now, of course, you can make that as big as you like. But because it's constrained to that custom ratio, that's what you get. Remembering the two thirds, there's the top, top line, the center line, and the left line. Click apply to commit the crop, and there's your image. That's the image I'm left with. Now, that's fairly easy. Apart from getting lost in the middle of this exercise, that's all we need for this exercise. You can see there, cropping ratio, 